not really that <laughs> quintessential freezing cold no. weather that usually goes with hockey. So I guess that's a good thing, really. It's I think it'll be, be more enjoyable. comfortable for those who are going to watch it. And the good news is on Monday, it's actually going to be drier, so okay. the rain won't be an issue. Mm. Not as warm as today, and we'll be done with all the rain showers over the weekend by okay. Monday. So if you had plans to go do that, you are good to go, and you, you got lucky with the weather. Yeah. This weekend, though, if you're thinking about New Year's Eve, what you want to do to bring in the new year, there will be a, a little bit of a damper on things with the rain moving in right in hell, though. Absolutely stunning. Look at this. Looking out from our Kettle Point camera kind of down the bay, you can see the sunshine off the water, the beautiful blue skies. Look how many people are out on the beach at Narragansett right now. We have a bunch of surfers, but also just a lot of people kind of walking along the wall and enjoying the sand. It is just an absolutely beautiful Friday. Look at these temperatures. It is 63 degrees right now in Smithfield, 59 for Providence. So we've already blown past that forecasted high of 55 degrees. It is an insane end to your 2022, an insane end to your December with these temperatures being so warm. It feels like spring out there. Again, our forecasted high was originally 56 degrees, but Providence already up to 59. Other spots will be staying in the mid-50s. But normally, we're only looking around 40 degrees. It is so warm out there and just completely out of the ordinary. An absolutely beautiful day. Uh, the mild weather, that's going to stick around for the next couple of days all the way through to uh, 2023. Next week, we'll be seeing more chances at temperatures closer to 60 degrees, but like I mentioned, it does come with some extra rain. There's a couple of scattered clouds kind of lingering overhead, racing past our area, but still a whole lot of sunshine. The system that's going to be moving towards our area for the rest of the day today, that's all of this moisture that's still sitting out to the west. It's going to push those clouds out ahead of it, and you'll be looking at most Mostly cloudy skies overnight tonight. Again, your afternoon temperatures already up to almost 59 for Providence, but you'll be staying pretty mild throughout the rest of the afternoon and into the evening. Overnight tonight, the clouds start to roll in. You'll be seeing a little bit of some patchy fog as well. So if you're planning on driving around either late tonight or early tomorrow morning, do uh, be on the lookout for that fog. You're going to not be surprised if there's some reduced visibility for a couple of spots, only down into the 40s overnight as well. So tomorrow you're waking up to gray skies, a little cloudy out there, but it is dry to start off. The rain starts to move in during the afternoon. Well, after about like 3.30, 4 o'clock, you'll start to see those showers really start to brush across our area. Midnight ringing in the new year, going to be a wet one, but it will be mild. Sunday starts off with a few lingering showers kind of early on, but then in the afternoon, the sunshine returns, and it's going to be really, really nice for your New Year's Day, your first day of 2023, looking pretty pleasant. Here's a look at that New Year's Eve forecast. Again, very cloudy, and the rain really all the way through uh, your entire celebrations, all the way through till maybe 3, 4 a.m., and then that last little bit at 7. But look at those temperatures all the way in the 40s, not too far off from the 50s for your overnight hours. So ringing in the New Year's, you really don't have to bundle up too much, but you might want that rain gear. Again, temperatures already in the upper 50s. Uh, Smithfield, 63 degrees. Going to have a beautiful day on Monday. Next week, warmer temperatures on the way once again with more chances of some rain. You can head over to our website, WPRI.com. Uh, we got that full seven-day forecast. You can check it out anytime you like. We can say that the rain is symbolically washing away 2022. There you go. All right. It's, it's beautiful. Makes it feel better, <laughs> yeah. The CDC says